the name of Jesus, Evangelist Deborah B. Cole. Let the church say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah. Can we say hallelujah? Hallelujah. We heard so many beautiful songs today. Stirred up my spirit. Heard the song say, can't nobody. Nobody. Can't nobody. Nobody. Do me like Jesus. But can't nobody. Nobody. Do me like Jesus. Because he's my friend. And I praise the Lord because he's worthy. Worthy to be praised. I couldn't do nothing without him. And I'm so glad that he's in my life. And I praise the Lord. Just for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord. I like to give unto to the Spirit of God and His Son, Jesus Christ, who is the head of our life. Give unto to our beloved pastor, Bishop Hebrew Phillips, in his absence. Give unto to our elder, Elder Edmonton Sewell, in his presence. All the ministers, evangelists, saints of God, is a Lord. All who are going through trouble on it. God is a good God. Yes, he is. I say God is a good God. Yes, he is. And you know, I praise the Lord because when Bishop comes under the weather, so I said, now nah, I got to get on top of the weather. I got <laughs> to do the work while it is day. Yes. Because when night cometh, no man can work. And I praise the Lord. My determination is to make this journey. And I praise the Lord because he's good. He's worthy to be praised. It was a song that the Lord laid on my heart last night. Old song. But it's a true song. Mm -hmm. And if you know the words, actually, join in and help me sing. Something got a hold on me.
you're going to ask those things. If you're not, we still receive you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Not going to read much. Book of Acts chapter 2. Yes, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Book of Acts chapter 2. Get in that verse 1. We're going to give you a chance to get it. Hallelujah. Your page is still turning. You don't need a chance to get it. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Everyone have it. Say amen. Amen. We read it all together. Verse 1 through 3. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all the mother called. Mother, all that stuff you heard about me was true. 
I said, Mark, I said, I didn't want you to know what I was doing, but it was true. And I'm tired now. I want to make that change. And my mother said to me, she said, baby, she said, I've been praying for you. And she said, as I begin to pray for you, I want you to call on the name of Jesus. And about three or four o'clock in the morning, I begin to call on the name of Jesus. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. I said, there's power in the name of Jesus. And as I begin to call on Jesus, I heard myself speaking in an unknown tongue. I said, Jesus is real. I know he's real. I began to speak in an unknown tongue. I was just speaking in tongues. And so they said, who do you want us to call? And I said, call this Shimon and baby. I said, call them to tell them that I'm speaking in tongues over here. And I praise the Lord. I called the right person because I didn't want to go any church. I didn't want to go anywhere and be saved. I wanted to go somewhere where they had a stand of holiness. Hallelujah. And I praise the Lord how Bishop Bailey, Mother Bailey, and Mother Nolly came about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. They came to my house. I was just speaking in tongues. Just speaking in tongues. But I want to tell you how God changed me. Hallelujah. I used to get the drugs free. They just give it to me free. But I didn't want it no more. And that night, that morning, when I was speaking in tongues, I'll never forget it. I took a bag of drugs and threw it in the garbage. And that same the drugs out the garbage, I went in my room because my mind was made up. My mind was made up. I wasn't going back no more. And they began to smoke it. But I said, I'm not going back. My heart is fixed. And my mind is made up. I got the Holy Ghost. I said, I got Don't play with the Lord. Don't play with the 
follow him. Don't play with him. God is angry with the wicked every day. It's time to play with the Lord. It's time to get down to business. It's time to give up everything. You gotta give up everything. Some people feel like I can give up this, but I can keep that. Oh no, you gotta give up everything if you wanna make it. Thank you, Lord. you ain't going nowhere just doing your own thing. You ain't going to go nowhere like that. Time is winding up. We see the time we live in. This is the time God given us to get everything he wants. Get things straight. Because one day, he's going to send his son back. They just feel like, oh, well, I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. Yes, you do. You got to do it. Don't let the devil play with your mind and have you feel like you can do what you want to do. Don't let the devil play with your mind. A lot of times, some of us, I, I, I passed out in the church, passed out of church. I heard stories of people, they almost died. Things have happened to them, but God is a merciful God. Yes. He gave them another chance to get it right. But some people still playing games. Some people still doing their thing. They think God don't move. You know what? I see a lot of times when people's out there doing their crookedness, they look this way. They look that way, but stop looking at that place. Behold the evil and the good. God sees everything. Ain't no secret. Ain't nothing. The Bible said ain't nothing here that shouldn't be revealed. It's going to be revealed. You might not be revealed today, but you might not be revealed next week, but you're going to be revealed. Because you can't do wrong and get by. We serve our God. A God that looks high and looks low. God is real. The time we're living in, it's time to stop playing games. It's time to get real. Because the Lord, many don't realize that. Many don't believe it. They feel like I can do what I want to do. Oh, God ain't going to do nothing to me. Oh, he ain't going to do Ain't nothing going to happen to me. But you know what? Suddenly. Things are happening suddenly. Suddenly. It's time to get your house in order. It's time to get yourself together. Stop playing games. It's better for you to stay out there and do your thing than to come in here and play games. Jesus. Don't come in here and play games. Let's go out right there and stay out there. Stay out there till your mind is made up. Right, up. Till your mind made up. Right. If your mind ain't made up, just go on out there and do your thing. Go and do what you want to do. Don't come playing in here and playing with the Lord. Right. I said don't come in here and play with the Lord. God is real. And he don't play. You can't come in here living in the kind of way. If you live right, the Bible, the song says, heaven belongs to you. If you want what you want to do. You know, we got to live according to the word of God. This word is a God. This word is a God. Unto him that's able to keep you from falling. God is able. God is able. Don't think God is able. You say, well, I, I, I just, I just got to have it. All right, you step there, I got to have it. But you're going to be in bad shape one day. When you get on your bed of fiction, fiction, and you can't get up off that bed. There's a lot of people laying there on their bed of affliction. People can't even move, can't even walk, can't even talk. You know what? Because God said it like that. You know what? When God put his hand on you in trouble, don't let God put his hand on you. Especially when you ain't doing that. People take for granted, take it for granted, this and that. But every day I examine my life, Lord. If I did or said anything wrong, I want you to forgive me. Because time is winding up. I know time is winding up. Mm -hmm. Jesus is real. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus is real. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you see me coming, I don't care from that wall, my where I'm at. I got it on my mind. Amen. And let me tell you something. When them guys see me, they know, look, I'm looking, I ain't got nothing with Jesus on my mind. <laughs> don't even look this way. Don't look this way. Because I got Jesus on my mind. I ain't playing. I don't care how good they look. I don't care how good they smell. I got Jesus on my mind. Hallelujah. I told my sister one day, I'm in love with devil. I said, not this one. There's a lot of devils in the world. You ain't in love with me. Because I got a man. And his name is Jesus. I said, I got a man. His name is Jesus. And if you want to give me one, let him do it. Let him do it in righteousness. Let him do it in righteousness. I won't, I won't live any kind of way not professing holiness. Now family know me. They said, now until you save. I ain't raising no roof. Some of them want to raise the roof and call themselves saved. I ain't raising no roof. Only roof I'm raising is from Jesus. That's only roof I'm raising. I'm raising the roof 
I raise that for Jesus. God and the Son, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? You know what God want us to let people know? This life can be lived. More than just talking about a life. Many people getting up and said, I thank the Lord for who you Do you really thank him? Or are you doing your own thing? Do you really thank him for being saved? Or are you doing your own thing? Holiness. Holy. You got to be holy. Holy. But Jesus said, God, the Bible said, I am holy. You got to be holy. You can't live any kind of way. We living in the terrible time. Wake up. Stop playing fooling yourself. Too many people playing games. Stop fooling yourself. You know what? The Bible said, Has thou not known? Has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the creator to the ends of the earth, he fainted not. Neither is he weary. And sometimes we get weary. Sometimes we get faint. We don't want to wait on the Lord. We want to do it our way. But you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I'm here to tell you today, you ain't going nowhere. Put out that door and stay out there. Till you make up your mind, you're going to come in here to Jesus. Let's go on out there and stay out there. It's better for you to stay out there than to come in here being a hypocrite. Ain't no hypocrite going to heaven. We ain't going to heaven like this. God looking for holiness. And he got examples. God got examples. Thank you, Lord. Holiness. Yes. Holy. When somebody see you, they got to know something different about you. When they see you coming, people look. I know she's saying. I know she's saying. They looking at your life. I don't have to put a sign that like Holy Ghost. Sometimes when I'm walking to Walmart, the guys hold the door before me. I'm saved and sanctified. Lord. Holy Ghost feeling and water baptized. I got Jesus on my side. And I'm running for my life. Yes, I'm running. I said, yes, I'm running. Yes. I said, I'm running. I'm running for my life. I'm running for my life. And they know I'm running. And they respect me because they know I'm running. I don't play games. Not knowing righteous games. I don't have time for it. Don't look at me because I don't have time for games. God is real in my life. God looking for real. The song we sing, Jesus is real. Jesus is real. I can feel it in my soul. There's a change in my life. I said, there's a change in my life. When you know somebody's saved, my goodness, you're saved. They're going to be so saved. Look at it. Don't you think you don't know when somebody watching? You think you got everything hooked up and all tied up, looking around, thinking that nobody sees you. Somebody watching you all the time. Already know your story. I already know you ain't doing right. But you're fooling yourself because you're playing. No, you ain't! Throw your hand up. Throw your hand up! Ask God to help you. When I came in with the Sunday school lesson, I was just so enthused. Because I was thinking, God, I'm looking for righteousness! Hold it! Don't let no woman deceive you. Don't let no man deceive you. Either you're saved or you ain't saved. Either you're holy or you ain't holy. God looking for holy people. He looking for holy people. He want representation. You can't represent God any kind of way. Don't think you can. Don't let nobody fool you and say, nobody ain't on the phone with me with no sweet nothing, 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 because I ain't got nothing for you. I ain't got nothing for you. Don't even call me with no sweet nothing, because it ain't working here. I'm saved. I've been saved almost 40 years. Almost 40 years. And I praise the Lord because he's a keeper. He's a keeper! He's a keeper. He'll keep you from falling. Think the Lord won't keep you from falling? Yeah, the enemy gonna bring temptation. That's what he was talking about. Yeah, he don't that look good? Yeah, that look good, but I'll see you later. Yeah, uh-huh. Don't he smell good? Yeah, he smell good, I'll see you later. Because I'm saved and sanctified. I ain't got time for foolishness. I'm not going to play with the Lord. Let me tell you something. I don't know what he's going to call for me. You don't know what he's going to call for you. Today is the day of salvation. Yes. People want to shout and jump and nothing. Yeah, that's good too. But you better hear the truth. You better let somebody tell you you ain't going to be no hypocrite. You ain't going to be the kind of way. Holiness. You got to be righteous. You got to be saved. You got to be he see you, I see you. And you trying to sneak and do it. 
being undercover, but it ain't gonna work. I said it ain't gonna work. It's better for you to go take the back seat yourself. Go on and just sit on down back there because it ain't gonna work. Or go to your pastor. Huh? Go to your leader. And you know what? One thing about God, God I like honesty. Yes. Go tell him, Lord, I have a weakness. Lord, I need help. Lord, I can't do this thing by myself. But I need you to help me. God, I'm mad at you. Don't lay up there just doing your thing and thinking, oh, I don't care to, you know, God, God, he'll have mercy on me. Yes, he will, but he ain't going to have mercy on you, you know what I'm saying? And then you just think that it's all right. Oh, no. Thank you, Lord. You got to get it together. It's time to get right, church. It's time to get right. So we can go home. It's time to get your status. Stop fooling yourself. You see the time we're living in? People are robbing people. People are going to people's house. Somebody was raped. Went in the house and raped the woman. Time winding up. They steal the car. They doing all kinds of things. Doing all kinds of unrighteous things. The Bible let us know. The children of this world. How it's going to be. We live in a perilous time. You better read it. You better check it out. You think you say, oh, I can do what I want to do. You don't know who's going to be next. You don't know. There was a lady at a restaurant last night, I mean, before day in the morning. Before day in the morning. You know, she got shot. I said, she got shot four day this morning. At a restaurant. We don't know where the enemy is. But the Bible says, the angel of the Lord, you don't hear me, and camps about them that fear him. The angel of the Lord and camps about them. We don't have to worry about who we are in his protection. You don't think that you understand, you're just doing what you want to do. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. And many times, people want to hear what they want to imitate. It won't work. Get your house in order. Get your life together. Get real with the Lord. Get real with the Lord. Tell them that devil. Tell them that devil. I need you, Lord. I need your help. You got to tell them that devil. Stop letting somebody make a fool out you. Telling you all kind of sweet nothings. And they ain't stunning you. They're going to burn the hell with you. And stay on out there playing games. Stay out there playing your games. You're going to find out. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Time is winding up. That's why Job said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I trust the Lord with my life. I trust him. I trust him, but I trust him with my decisions. Because he knows what's best for me. Even though my weary eyes can't see. Thanks. Visitors, friends, someone, if you know you need the Lord while you got breath in your body, get right. Get right before it's too late. Get it together before it's too late. Don't just look at the world and feel like, oh well, I'm just going to stay out here. I'm just, no, 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 no. You can't put it off. Keep putting it off. Keep playing games. No. We don't know when it's going to be our time. We don't know when we're going to leave here. But if I leave here today, I got to leave here right. I'm going to leave here right. Because I know God got it all in control. And that's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
Say, I've been saved by the blood of the crucified one. That same blood that saved me will keep me. You heard the message preached this morning. Seems like the message preached like it's going to be the last time they have to preach. Because the coming of the Lord draw now. Don't take the message for no. Have an ear to hear. Say, the Spirit is talking to those that are already saved. But I'm going to talk now to those that's not saved. Come to repent. Come to repent. And then we will baptize in the name of Jesus. On the book, the removing of your sin. And he would not remove your sin if he wasn't able to keep you from going back. If you went back, nobody don't have to keep telling you you don't went back because God will tell you you have returned. God is long suffering this morning as he always has. This morning is Want to this morning be baptized and repent and be baptized. God will not baby. God will. He will. For God not slack concerning his promise. God will do what he said. He will do it. Sometimes we come up short. Sometimes we tell God one thing and do another. But God, what he tell you, he's going to do it. Yes, what he said, he's going to his word is self. Not only for me, it's self for you. And God don't have to turn his head at all the time. And not only you, you're looking at me too. Thank be to God, he don't take his eyes off of me. Because I need thee, Lord, I need thee. And I'm not ashamed, and I'm not ashamed to be saved. I'm not ashamed to deny those things I have right now. I'm glad I'm able to even go out and be tempted. But I'm glad I'm able to say no. Be tempted everything. But God. But God. God is able to keep you. He won't keep you if you don't want to be kept. God will not be kept. How much your heart desire? If your heart desire that, you wind up with that. This morning, we this afternoon, we won't come to repent. And everybody in here will be baptized in Jesus' name. Because if you put it off, you still have to come back to the same thing. Amen. No matter how long you put it off, you still will have to come back to the same, same thing. Okay? You know, one thing I like about Tommy, Tommy didn't hold, he, he told him, said, Jesus, how can we know the word? Did I tell you wrong from the day? He said, I ain't gonna believe that either until I for himself. He said, Jesus is real. Repent in this morning and be baptized. If not, we will turn to the Lord's church and have a God's This is my machine. Fellowship.